Welcome back to the Red Booth Show. We're here with actor Hal Ozan. I just realized something, Kim. Yes. So the last time I was here, yeah. we were talking about a bar fight. That's right. A bar fight that I had. Yeah. And this time we're talking about the fact that I'm hungover. <laughs> I, I know. This show is terrible for my reputation. <laughs> They I'm a know, hard working, diligent man. They get to know the real you, Hal. Yeah, I that's think that's true, yeah. I think that's but the, the truth. But the bar fight was perfect because you were like defending someone's honor or something, you know, sort of. which is kind of, you know, yeah. the right thing to do. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that, Exactly. Kim. Yep. <laughs> I swear I'm not an alcoholic, homicidal <laughs> lunatic no, at all. Not no. most of the time. At least. Yeah. Only on the weekends. <laughs> okay, so you have been doing TV acting, filmmaking, you have a new movie coming out, and. I wanted to ask about your music. Oh, I'm never going to forget yeah, how you know every that. Every time. Every time. Every time. Uh -huh. I think the last time we were on the show, we, yeah. we sang a song together, didn't we? We did uh, <clears throat> House of the Rising Sun, and you oh, showed no. the world what no. a talented singer you no. are. Oh. <laughs> a beautiful little angelic voice of yours. Mm, that thank was wonderful. You. That was very on the spot. No, but you are an amazing performer as well. And thank you. And you've had music out. You've done big shows. I mean, you... Thank you, man. Yeah, and I think, aren't you doing a little bit of writing? Of, of songwriting? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You always do this, don't you? <laughs> I, I did, I did, I used to be in a band, Poets and Porn Stars, and... Um, Poets and Porn Stars, guys. Yeah. Check them out, check them out. Yeah. You know what's really crazy? Someone sent me some links the other day of that. Now, listen, Poets and Porn Stars hasn't even been a band for 10 years. And, uh, I just so, imagined those leather pants you used to wear on the stage. I used to look good in a pair of leather pants. <laughs> I'm just going to own that. Very, few, very few men can pull off leather pants, and I just happened to be one of them for a very small period of my life. Um, anyhow, uh, someone sent me some links. There's like bands all over the world covering poets and porn star songs, like bands in Belarus and. You know, like Korea. what? I want to be your monkey. Baby. Yeah, or like, yeah, yeah, like a ton of our songs. It's crazy. Seriously, that's it's awesome. A really, it's a really heartwarming thing to think that you you touched people and yeah, you know. Now, so what happened? Like, I wanted to know. Like, you had you were performing in front of huge p c crowds. Like, you were opening. What was that for? It wasn't the Oz Fest, was it? No, it was Inland Invasion. Inland Invasion. Yeah, yeah. They opened for Guns and Roses. They opened for Guns and Roses. No, nope. yeah. yeah, Avenged Sevenfold. Yeah, and I think you. Uh, I'm not sure how much you want to say, but I think you kind of got like disillusioned with the whole music industry at one point, it seemed like. Yeah, because that's exactly of what happened. Because of record label stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, for legal matters, I won't go into to right. all the details, but um, yeah. it's a very strange business and it's sort of like the Wild West and always has been and is even more so that way now. But really, you know, there were other factors at play like, do I still want to be you know, rolling around in the back of a van in leather pants at 33? <laughs> Answer, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, but I'm still very, very... My, one of my best friends in the world is the bass player from that band, Miss Sally Hope. Nice. We, we, we Marco Polo every day. She's my little buddy, and, like, we still make music together. And uh, I was just in Montana with her over um, New Year's, and we, we may be writing some songs. Mm. There might be a little release it's at some point. Is this maybe coming back with some more poets and porn stars? Lovers and diehards. That's the new name. Yeah. Nice. But you know, it's all it's all gestating. Okay. Sally and I always like the softer side of poets and porn stars, right? The sort of more melodic stuff. So we're sort of, you know. Maybe we've been listening to a lot of Chris Stapleton lately and maybe we've been writing some I acoustic Chris songs. Stapleton. I mean Oh my god, he's so good. So, you know, I'm Please come on my show, by the yeah, way. Chris, love you. I yeah. wanna be your best friend. <laughs> No, really. <laughs> I'm your new best friend. I know this sounds really creepy. I swear I'm normal, but I think we should hang. Anyway. Good. No, an absolute genius. Yeah, absolute genius, that guy, right? Yeah, well, I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have been working on. Well, i tell you what. Mm -hmm. If and when that does happen, you can, you can preview, premiere the first song. Maybe oh. we'll come in and do a little performance for you. Yeah? I would love this. Great. And we'll probably have a little stage set up by then, so you guys... Oh, really? Can, yeah, yeah. Oh, how I'm cool. working on it. Are you going to do that? Like band's mm -hmm. time situation? Yeah, yeah, it's coming soon. That's brilliant. I love that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So good. I'm, With your I'm... little angel wing diadem. <laughs> Some weird... This is my like rock and roll side, right? Ah, uh, yeah, but yeah. I kind of see it more like Celtic warrior princess. 
type deal. You get like, me. Like on a chariot. You really get me. <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah, man, for real. You know, this we is... We need to get you a sword to match it. Yes. Well, yeah. I am, I'm a producerist. I named myself a producerist. Producer, like sorceress. Right? Instead of, well, because we have actress and producerist. actor. I'm producer, producerist. That's Let my me ask word you about that. That I've made up for myself. Producer. Let me ask you about that. Uh -huh. Lately, I've noticed a bit of a trend with actresses calling themselves actors and not making that distinction. I How do you feel about that? I think it's silly. I think we should call ourselves actresses. I think it's great. We have yeah. female, we have male. There's no wrong, there's nothing wrong with saying I'm, a, I'm an actress. I, yeah. would, I wouldn't want to... Make, why make it? Actress it. sounds more glamorous to me. I think it's cute. I'd love to be able to call myself an actress. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Well, you could try. I take that back. Just that kidding. just sounds weird. Doesn't sound good. I take that back. And on that yeah. note, we have run out of time. <laughs> hey, it's always fun coming and hanging out with you. It's so great having you on the show. I'm so happy you got to come Let's again. Let's get a little, little oh, hug in there. Oh, yay. We'll see you again soon when you're in like the top Marvel movies and, you know, playing another superhero. High five, bud. High five. Awesome, so happy for you. Thanks for coming on the show. Always a pleasure. Thank you for watching our interview. You can continue to watch the next segment by clicking here. And don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to The Red Booth Show.